We are talking, are studying today. So, it's my second time trying to film this video. And I just film for 30 minutes with no audio. If I don't have audio this time, I will... Okay, let's get into this video. So, I'm gonna talk a little bit about art studying and my journey of learning how to study art. And I'm not talking it about it in a way of like having a whole art course for yourself or like you're going to college and studying art school again, anything like that. I'm talking about like, like me. You have a nine to five and you make art on the side and you're trying to find yourself and your art style and you're trying to learn and improve your skills and on your free time while also trying to have fun because art studying can be a little bit boring. So yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about today subscribe to this channel if you like my videos if you like my art if you want to support me um if you want to support me uh, subscribe like comment first i want to talk about sketchbooks everybody in the art community has a sketchbook i think right but having a good relationship with your sketchbook i think is really important recognizing for and accepting for yourself that if you are a beginner like me or if you are just learning you are going to make mistakes and having a good relationship with your sketchbook is having fun while you're trying to learn something messing up and being okay with that and having a good balance of like yes you want to make good stuff that you like but you also want to be silly sometimes and you want to make mistakes and be okay with that so having a good relationship with your sketchbook is really important when you are trying to study and better yourself something that i started to do recently is i have a second sketchbook and the reason why I have this second sketchbook is because there are certain things that for me are a little bit outside of my comfort zone that I still would like to learn, like portraits and drawing people accurately. And I am not really good at it, but I'm a little bit intimidated. Having a second sketchbook that I dedicate specifically for studying people sketching people and portraits has been really helpful because i know that when i grab the sketchbook i am gonna do things new things that are out of my comfort out of my comfort zone and that i am gonna mess up and i'm gonna learn and i think it's a really good way to like have a dedicated book where you're gonna see your journey on this specific thing that you want to learn on and you're gonna see it from beginning to end like when i finish this sketchbook i'm gonna see the very beginning of the first phase of the first portrait that i ever that i ever try to do to the last one and i think that's really cool so i really recommend having a second sketchbook a dedicated sketchbook for whatever you feel like is outside of your comfort zone that you would not otherwise do on your regular sketchbook i am gonna talk about some books that i use to learn to gain inspiration to be inspired by other people's work and i have this book that i picked up from a bookstore a few months ago and this is just a pretty basic beginner book on how to draw and i think it's really helpful to 
start from basic things like this. It's step-by-step guides. It has pages where it encourages you to practice on your own, whatever subjects you like. You don't have to follow it from like the first to the last. You can go to whatever chapter you want to learn on. I haven't gone through much of it, but I have done some of it and some of the exercises that having just a basic, basic book that talk about the most basic drawing techniques is really helpful. I have this other book that is basically all about impressionism and it highlights a lot of big artists back on the 1860s and 1900s. It's a really good one because it has a lot of variety and you can see all the different artists from different times and different styles and something that I've done with this book is I do a study on an art piece that is here and I'll, I'll you can read on their technique this other book that I have this is um photography book and I really like this one because it has is very unique the colors are the color palette is really nice and it highlights a lot of like still life in a unique way i think this is a really good book to again see something different and explore your style I have this coloring book and i wanted to mention it because i think that um studying art can feel like a lot of pressure and can be a little bit stressful i think it's really necessary to have fun with your art have fun avenues to explore art so i have this coloring book and it's filled by doodles and i have done some of it and i think it's really fun i think it's just like a really fun simple way to be inspired if you don't want to make your own art and you want to do some doodles and you want to color it's a really nice way to get inspired by simple things like this it's a way to not take art seriously so serious all the time and you're still learning you're still nurturing that and you're still learning you're still nurturing that inner artist and you i want to show you some of the apps that i use to find inspiration i use this app called on splash and i think it's really helpful because you can look by many many different subjects I've, i use this app so many times whenever i don't know what to draw and all the images are free so i think this is a really good one there's this other app called pexels which is also kind of like same thing free pictures free images of whatever you like that you can use to study get inspired this other app that i recently found is called head model and this one's pretty cool if you like if like me you are trying to learn about portraiture and drawing people and drawing fate and learning how to draw face structures more clearly and accurately then this is a really cool way to learn because it has so much variety last two things that i want to mention honorable mention i just needed to mention the artist way um, is a good foundation to everything um i think that when you're trying to learn something new and as an artist there there can be a lot of self criticism there's you know the little voice in your head that tells you like nothing that you draw is good enough 
the artist way helps you a lot in that and it helps you take action which if you struggle with perfectionism a lot of times perfectionism keeps you from doing the things that you're that you want to do and from being the best version of artist of your artist self that you want to be and that you can be so i think doing the artist way is a really good way to just like it's a good way to process how you feel about your art about yourself what you actually believe about yourself i think you're gonna learn i learned so much about myself when i did when i went through this book and it helped me so much with navigating that critical mindset that that i tend to have so i highly highly recommend the artist way and i think this is the foundation of everything because it's all in your head it's all here so i highly recommend the artist way and along with the artist way i have to mention journaling i know that now i know that this might sound like this is now part of art studying you have to really touch with what's going on within and process how you feel about yourself and about your art journaling and not only helps me to deal with that self-criticism it also helps me like also helps me like to document my art journey and to see how far you come because sometimes you can be like oh i'm not learning as much as i thought but if you're journaling and going through this process you can reflect back and see how far you've come and that's what journaling has done for me you cannot be your best creative self when you're stressed and have a million things in your head so i think just like having a place to reflect where it's just you no judgment and you can reflect on your journey and how you're doing on your art journey is really really helpful that's all i had for this video i hope that you enjoy watching and i hope that you enjoyed hearing me talk a little bit about my art journey how i am studying art i hope that you enjoy watching thank you so much for watching if you made it through the end of the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye